guys, I'm Chrissy. I'm a stay-at-home mom to a beautiful little girl living in Dallas, Texas, and I'm that mom. <laughs> now, I know what you might be thinking. Why would anyone admit to being that mom? It has such a negative connotation. All it takes is a quick Google search and you'll find endless videos, blogs, and memes on how to not be that mom, and here I am proudly proclaiming to be. But I can assure you that was not always the case. I avoided being labeled as that mom for a long time. Now, I was always willing to admit that I'm a little over the top when it comes to being a mom. It all started really in my pregnancy. My husband and I did the nursery to the nines, knowing full well that she wouldn't spend a single night in there for at least the first six months of her life. I bought every book in Barnes & Noble. I downloaded every app there was out there. I signed up for every single class that my hospital offered in preparation for my daughter, and things really only got worse once she got here. I take weekly and monthly pictures of her in the same exact spot to get perspective and watch her as she grows. I post a picture of her every day on social media. I'm a huge proponent of breastfeeding. There'll be more on that in the future. I'm a member of several mommy groups online. I won't do a single thing without running it by the American Academy of Pediatrics or Dr. Sears or one of the thousands of other mommy blogs that I follow. And these are just a few of the what some people might call crazy things that I do in an attempt to be the best mom I can be. But I still was not willing to admit that I was that mom. To me, this is just what loving, nurturing moms do. But it was inevitable whenever I would be talking to someone, particularly a more seasoned mom, it would happen. I would get the look. That's the, oh, you're that mom look. And it drove me crazy. So in an attempt to avoid this, I developed a couple of strategies. The first one being just avoid all social interaction. This was kind of easy being that I live in Dallas. My family lives in Florida. My husband family lives in Vegas. So I didn't really have to interact much. I could just stay here in my little bubble where I wasn't that mom. I was just loving and nurturing. But in the event that I couldn't completely avoid social interaction like a total hermit, I developed another strategy, which was faking it. I would just try and play everything off like it was super cool. Like, yeah, so I signed up for this class at the hospital. It's no big deal. You know, so, someone recommended it to me. I figured, what the hell? It won't hurt anything. But, you know, it's no big deal. And in the event that I felt like I really couldn't fake it, then I would just spend hours mentally preparing for the interaction and the inevitable look and judgment that would come along with it. But then one day, it happened. While visiting my family in Florida, someone actually said it. Oh, you're that mom. I mean, the look, the words, the attitude, all of it. And my blood was instantly boiling. I just sat there and I could feel the anger welling up in me like Bruce Banner becoming the Hulk and I had to take a deep breath to not bite their head off and I just tried to brush it off but I couldn't. I kept thinking about it and thinking about it and I was like I'm that mom? What does that even mean? A mom who loves her kid? Yeah. A mom who wants her kid to sleep? A mom who wants her kid to be well nourished, safe, uh, emotionally stable, loved, to be happy, yeah, I'm that mom. And you know what? I'm proud of it. And you could say that it's some crazy first time mom thing and all subsequent kids will get subpar care, but you know what? I don't care. Even if that's the case, I have decided to enjoy this season of life. I've decided to admit I am that mom. I work hard at being that mom. I have learned a lot from being that mom and I refuse to hide it, to be ashamed of it, or to let it be a negative thing anymore. So I've decided to embrace being that mom and to share all of my stories, my inevitable mistakes, um, a few of my triumphs, um, my favorite products, and all of my resources with you. That way, if you too feel like you are that mom, you can know that it's okay. Be proud because you know what? Being that mom means working tirelessly to provide the very, very best that you can for your kids. And that's something to be proud of. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch more, check out one of my other videos and subscribe to my page. I'm also really active on other social media outlets, so please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can click the links on my page or search me using at official that mom. Thank you again so much for watching and always remember, don't be afraid to be that mom. See you next time. Bye.